What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So in the last video, you guys saw and heard that we'll be letting go of one of the cars. And if you guys haven't watched that video yet, pause this video, watch the previous video. No, this is not clickbait. I'm actually strongly considering and most probably gonna be letting go of another car because there's another car that I wanna get and to buy another car, I need to sell one first says the wife <laughs> so yeah um, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing some plans we have for it before we sell it all right so the car that I will be letting go it's my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art Sportback this is a 2010 Rally Art Sportback and Rally Arts itself is already hard to come by it's pretty much a baby Evo also all-wheel drive also turbo same 4B11 T engine uh, this one, what makes it super special? Firstly, it's a sport back. And if you want an Evo wagon, Evo 10 wagon, this is pretty much it. They never made the Evo 10 wagons. Um, the sport back version for the Rally Arts, I believe there's only about 300 made in North America, both US and Canada. So super hard to come by. If you see another one, it's most probably a Lancer sport back. And the Lancer sport back, you know, Front wheel drive only, non-turbo. So this is definitely the more fun car to get. Um, now, what makes this car so super special is I am the second owner. So, very mint condition. Super low mileage, only has 30 something thousand miles on it. I believe 33,000 miles. Let's check it out. Yeah, only has 33,000 miles on it. Original miles. And what makes this car even more cool is the previous owner, first owner actually pretty much had this car swapped a big turbo setup, had the transmission, the SST transmission beefed up with the Cosmos transmission. So this thing is fast, makes good power, quicker than your stock Evo 10 on the road, makes 300 plus horsepower, um, 300 plus torque, very fun car. But yeah, we'll be selling this car, um, not just yet. There are a few things I wanna get done to the car before I sell it. So I do wanna get it close to stock as possible, especially some of the rare JDM parts I wanna keep for myself. So yes, I did throw on some parts during my ownership. Uh, the VLAN headlights, I'm actually considering where to swap back to stock headlights so that I can sell these. They do have the show mode on them, so super cool. I had it modified myself. Um, probably stock that back to stock. I'm debating if I want to stock, you know, stock wheels back on, or sell it with the RPF ones. You know, I have the stock wheels. It's just that uh, one of the TPMS sensor is broken, so I have to get that fixed first. Let's see in the interior. I will be keeping the bright Lomax seats, so I have the stock. OEM seat, throwing that back in, keeping this seat. Head unit. I have the OEM head unit, but I don't know if anybody really wants it because it's old. I could swap it back to the stock one, or I could also leave it with the aftermarket. It looks more modern. Uh, shift knob, very shift knob. Definitely gonna swap that out. Easy swap out. And yeah, I think pretty much it. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep pretty much everything else as is, you know, power-wise. But those are the few things. Great storage space. Swapped it all out to LEDs. Oh, my license plates. I'm gonna keep that as well. Throw on the stock license plates. <laughs> Even have the stock TDO4 turbo chill in here. But yeah. Um, couple parts that I'm gonna be uh, you know swapping it out before I sell it so it's gonna be a process for today since I have you guys here with me on the vlog I'm gonna start with the very first part to swap out super easy I could do it in five minutes I'm gonna take out this various carbon fiber shift knob this was previously on my Mitsubishi Lancer show build authentic various this shift knob itself in carbon fiber you know, if you're gonna find one, it costs you about 200 plus US dollars. So really expensive shift knob. I'm gonna be keeping this. 
pretty much universal. Comes right off. And they give you a bunch of these little fittings so that you can pretty much fit in any car. There you go. Thread pitch to fit it. And I don't have the OEM shift knob, but when I bought it, it came with this nice titanium shift knob. So I'm gonna throw this back on. It's not a bad looking shift knob. You know, it's a pretty nice shift knob, but hey, JDM points. I love my various, I love my JDM parts. All right, so just gonna screw it back in. Nice and snug. Yeah, looks great. And over here, I have the OEM head unit. So the Rally Arts, they came with the Mitsubishi Multi communication system. Nice head unit. Very nice for its time back in 2010 has navigation and everything but it's a little bit dated the year is no longer 2010 it's 2023 um, also comes with this just gotta transfer over my my air vents I feel like it's probably better for me to swap it back out to this just because when I'm selling the car you know I don't think the head unit is gonna make too much of a difference in price uh, if I were to sell this online the OEM unit probably wouldn't fetch too much money. The aftermarket unit, on the other hand, if I were to sell it, a lot more guys are going to be wanting to buy this aftermarket hit unit. So, yeah, I might have to swap it out too. Alright, so I'm going to end off the vlog here. Like I said, in future videos, be expecting for me to swap out some parts, like the head unit, the seats, headlights, small little parts. Wheels, I'm still undecided. Maybe, possibly do it. I feel like when you part out some aftermarket parts, you tend to get more money for it. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.